Hi there everyone. I'm just going to show you a bit about how to create a spell in the BG3 toolkit. Uh, I am kind of like, I'm not an experienced modder or anything, so this is just like the dumbed down uh, for dummies kind of way of doing it. So, all right, so you start your new project, uh, create the thing. Um, so this one, this one's completely new. It's called Less Award. Um, that's just a name. Um, so the different from creating weapons, in weapons you want to adjust stats, but you also want to create a new item in this root templates menu. But instead of creating a new item in this root templates menu, um, other than this stats thing, you want to go into the UUID object editor. Um, I'm just going to load basic level A because it's the quickest to load. Uh, so you don't have to worry about root templates and the things that we did last time with the armor and the weapons. Instead, the one thing that will change is the UUID object editor. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into stats. Uh, you want to go uh, look into these projects. I think, is it spell data? I don't think it's, it might be spell data. Let's check. Yeah, okay. So you'll see there's different kinds of spells. So the shout spell. Um, let's find blur. Okay, blur. Right, so blur applies the status blur, and it does it for 10 turns, right? Um, and what is further along down here? Okay, what I'll just do is I'll take this, and I'll arrive. Uh, override in, no, I'll create derived in a lesser ward. That's because I don't want to overtake blur. I want to create a new one from blur. So you can see up here, it's in the shout lesser ward thing here. Um, this one's called blur override. We don't want it called that. So I'll just call it lesser, lesser ward like this. Uh, you can change things like it's it's spell school. Uh, you can uh, change this. So this is the turn ticker, this 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to 2. So the last two turns, because I want it to be a lesser sort of thing, kind of like a dodge, dodge mechanic. And then... You want this? You can change the spell icon, um, display name. What if I want to change that? I'm not sure what that does, but it surely does something. <laughs> All right, um, description. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So here again, it shows. This is like the tool tip of what of what it's actually applying. So you want to change this as well if you've changed the other one. Does it have a space in between? No. So I probably shouldn't put a space. It's just the ticker that I'm changing there. All right, and those are the sounds and stuff. You could turn it into a ritual spell if you wanted. So up here in use costs, this says it costs an action point and it costs like spell slot group I don't know, one, one, two, whatever. Um, I'm going to just look down here, look through these parents of like these different spells for like a, a reference. 
I want something that um, operates on a bonus action because I want to change it to a bonus action. So, bonus action. I could do something like Disguise Self if I wanted to figure out how to turn it into a ritual spell, for example. Um, but I want something bonus action. I think Hunter's Mark, right? Or maybe Hex. Really? I guess it's not that easy to search. All right. So let's find one. Uh, dash bonus action will do. Whatever. I'll just steal it from that. Dash bonus action. Bonus action point. Okay, so I want this to cost a bonus action point and not any spell slot stuff. So I change that to that. And it's ticker is turned, change the two turns. Cool. I think there's one more thing I need to change, which is the spell level that it has. Where is that? Here it is. It says spell level two. So I want to change that to Make it zero. Whoa, no, 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 no. Because I want it to be a cantrip, right? Mm. I'm just double checking that I've got Everything I want is to cast spell flags. Ah, uh, you could change this sort of thing so that it doesn't has have verbal components. Or you can change like if it's a concentration spell. I want this to be a concentration spell, but maybe I want to remove uh, verbal components so that it works in silence. Okay, cool. And then what this basically does is this has created the spell. So the spell is now created and it's going to be under shout, underscore, and then whatever their name is, less award. So if you were to create a target spell, which are different kinds of spells, so like all these ones uh, that have a target, like you smite spells and stuff, like you can change all the properties of how much damage they do, uh, like whether they're once per long rest, whether they're, sh you know, per turn, those those kinds of things, or whether they rely on uh, certain spell slots. Uh, you could have a cantrip smite, for example, that just adds like 1d4 or something like that You could you could do with this. But anyways... It, that would be target, and then it would be underscore, and whatever your spell is, is what the actual name is going to be. So in this one, we've created the uh, the spell. So in spell data, and so now that that's done, we can then apply that to a spell list. Yes. Come on, close. Close. Okay. Now we go to the UUID editor. And uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. did I create one before? Nope. So it'll be in lists and then it will be uh, a spell list. But you don't do it from there. So what you want to do is you want to find the spell list that you're actually altering. So you'll go up into shared. You'll go to lists and you can change different things like you can change passives um, there's passive lists for like different fighter stuff um, skill lists um, all right. 
So if you look through those, you can find some interesting stuff. All right, so, and then spell lists. Spell lists. So all your spells for each list, for each level or whatever, like Cleric Level 3 gets these spells. That's uh, all contained here. So basically, if you put a name in one of these lists, it changes it. So what we'll just do is we'll put it in Warlock, Warlock Cantrips. And there we go. We'll say override in uh, lesser ward. And what that does is that puts down here in the lesser ward drop down, it puts this spell list. And, you know, it's changing Warlock. So what I do is I put my new spell on there. So lesser, wait, shout, because it's a shout. And then lesser wood. And I put that there. Then I save this. Okay. Then I go to play. And what you want to do is you want to go Control Shift F11 and CC Start Respec. Uh, I'll go to Warlock and Cantrips, and you'll see that I have this new Blur Cantrip. Um, I might have need needed to change like the name or whatever so that it wouldn't be Blur, but this is basically the basics of how to do it. So then I can confirm here. And we can put on turn-based mode. And you could use Blade Ward. That'll take your action and like give you resistance. And then you could use Blur. And that will make them attack at disadvantage. So. You could use your whole action, just uh, chill out. Um, and then you'll see that, you know, the enemy could attack you for one turn and then, then it's gone. So that's why I changed it to two turns, just so you have the in-between turn where it's actually effective. And that's it. That's basically how you change a spell. Um, the only other... Like, you can change, like, how much damage it does and whatever uh, for damaging spells if you want to. Um, the only other thing that I would show you is there's a few more interesting things. So you can change feats uh, somewhat similar to this. And let's see, passive lists. So you could definitely change those. Um, like, you could add like a different thing that they get um, or choose from on that. Uh, where is it? Progressions, progressions. Here's progressions. Okay, so progressions is kind of useful to understand. This is something I've been looking into because you can change classes, uh, like j different class features and stuff. So, for example, um, Barbarian at level 5 gets extra attack and fast movement. So, you could add different stuff in here. Um, like, it has to be a passive, so it's not going to be a spell. But if you create a, create it, create a passive, uh, you could put it in here or any other passive that you find, you could put there. Um, you could change things like what resources certain things take um, and all you would just need to do is override it so if you want to make it so that your bard gets like more spells or something you could do that up in here you know that's level one so maybe level two bard you know if you want them to get a feat for example there's stuff that they get where do they get this it's going to be along here somewhere is every I think everything gets a feat. So maybe you'd have to look at fighter level six. This fighter. I can't see level six. Okay. So I don't know too much about this, but I know that you can change um, some class stuff 
basically here in progressions. And you might think like, oh, what is this table UUID and this UUID? This is like weird and confusing. Um, but they will use, okay, where is it? Let me figure this out. Because sometimes, ah, right. So here they've got like select spells. Okay, so in this barred one, it's like, okay, you can select spells from these lists or select skills from these lists, uh, add spells from this one. And you'll notice they've got like these weird UUID things like add spell, UUIDs, blah, blah, blah. What that actually is, okay, so what's this? Um, let's just go barred one, select, select spells. So this select spells here is DCB45. And if we go into lists, uh, spell list, DCB45, we want bard. DCB45, this one. So it's this UUID here in this spell list. So it'll be taking this as like the name of it rather than the name of it. It will use this UUID just to help you understand like what's going on there. Um, and that's basically it. So that's how you change a spell. I hope that helps. I know that's not super, super clear, but it's basically as simple as I can put it. You've got to create it in stats. Um, and that's going to be either like projectile, target, zone, rush, wall, teleportation, throw, uh, or shout. Uh, you create that spell. Um, you can literally just go here and get, get your parent spell if you want. You can literally just do it that way. Or you can go up and you can look through the spell data up here um, in shared and find it that way. Um, might just be easiest, honestly, just to create and spell da data, create whatever one you want, and then just pick the parent. Um, then you change the stats. So much like with weapons and armor. Then after you've done that, you will have the actual name to input it into a list. And to do that, you go to the UUID, um, and then you find the spell list that you want to alter and then you'll create a new version of that one and then like to override it and then you will basically put that up here with just the type of spell first like zone or shout target and then the name that you gave it and then what you can do is just make sure it's the right level just make sure it's like level zero or level one um, when when they're selecting the thing so that once you go into uh, the sort of testing editor here, you go control shift 11 and then you go CC respec. And you will be able to then go into your spell list and check out your new cantrip basically. Okay, that's, that's basically it. Um, so instead of doing all the root menu stuff that you do for the weapons and armor, it's just UUID spell list. Okay, so I hope that hope that helps, and I uh, hope you have some fun um, modding BG3. All right, take care, take it easy, bye.